Hello and welcome back. Today we're continuing our saga of model evaluation and we're talking about adjusted R squared. Previously we discussed R squared which is defined as 1 minus the residual sum of squared divided by the total sum of squared and R squared is a goodness of fit for our models, greater is better. Uh, just a quick reminder, we mentioned that R squared is between 0 and 1 and that um, there is no overarching rule of thumb the values really depend on the industry and uh, use case so for some industries and use cases 0 0.9 might be a great r squared and 0 0.4 might be a terrible r squared for the other, for other industries and use cases 0 0.4 might be a great r squared so it really depends however there is an overarching problem across the board which is to do with adding new uh, independent variables so let's say we have um, a linear regression with two independent variables and we decide to add a third one. For example, we got new data, a uh, new column of data, or we got, um, we're just trying to explore and see what other variables might uh, be uh, helpful in the explanation in our model. So what happens when we add another variable is that the total sum of squares doesn't change because it only depends on the average of the y actual values and doesn't depend on the y hat values but the residual sum of squares will change and in fact it will only either decrease or stay the same the problem we're facing is that the residual sum of squares will never increase when we add when we try to add another variable and this might not be intuitive at first so let's talk about it a little bit um, the main reason for this is that we are using the ordinary least squares method to build our models. And what the ordinary least squares method does is it aims to minimize the residual sum of squares. So let's try to see this in action. When we add this new variable, x3, uh, the ordinary least squared method is going to look for coefficients b3 that improve the y i hat predicted values. As long as it finds um, a P coefficient b3 where the yi hat values are better than they were before closer to the actual values then the sum of uh, the residual sum of squares will improve it could improve by a lot if the if the prediction is much better now or it could improve by a tiny little bit even uh, if the prediction is a little bit better now in the situation where the ordinary least squares method cannot find a coefficient b3 that improves uh, the predictions like all possible coefficients b3 make the predictions worse then the ordinary least squared method is just going to be very um smart or sneaky you can call it and it's just going to put uh turn b3 into zero it's just going to say okay we're going to set b3 at zero and that means even though we technically added an extra variable it's not participating at all in the predictions because its coefficient is zero so in that case, the residual sum of squares won't change, will be exactly as it was before. So we end up with a situation where we can just keep adding more and more variables that maybe have even nothing to do with our problem at hand, but by virtue of some random correlations, our um, R squared in some cases will be improving, 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 it never gets worse. So the residual sum of squares will decrease, that means R squared will increase. And that's a problem because we don't want to end up with models that have lots of uh, variables that have nothing to do with that model, that are not really adding a lot of value, uh, but in general are just increasing R squared. So what is the solution? The solution is uh, a new version of R squared and adjusted R squared, and that's exactly what it's called. It uh, is calculated with this scary looking formula, but as you'll see from the practical tutorials with Adlan, it's not scary at all. Um, and you'll be able to recreate this uh, um, actually manually. So here there are a couple of new um, parameters. K is the number of independent variables that are in our model, and N is the sample size. And the important thing here is to look at K. So if we, uh, if K increases over here, then the denominator decreases. That means the whole ratio increases. And because it's been subtracted, that means adjusted R square uh, decreases. So that's the important point here that this new formula penalizes us for adding uh, additional variables. So basically, it's only worth adding an extra variable if R squared, 
this original R squared, if it increases substantially enough, uh, that compensates for this penalty. So uh, you adding new variables becomes something that has to be justified. If it's not justified, then the new variable is not worth adding. And that's what adjusted R squared is about. It's about making sure that we only add variables when they bring substantial improvement to our model. So there we go. That's adjusted R squared. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you next time. Until then, enjoy machine learning.